Hey guys, it's Tech Racer and welcome to the new video on the channel and first of all, I would like to tell you guys that our channel has successfully surpassed 1000 subscribers and it is all because of you guys that you guys have supported me till now and hope that this support will be in future as well so that we will reach to new achievements and limits on our channel. Now in today's video, we are going to take a look at how you can improve your camera quality on your OnePlus devices. Now this video is specifically made for the users of OnePlus 5 and 5T but uh, other OnePlus users can also try these settings and uh, let me know that in the comment section below that if these settings work for you or not. So I'm making this video because I have seen so many issues and comments in the OnePlus community app or even the, uh, in some forums that there uh, is some degradation in the camera quality of the OnePlus 5 and 5T after a few beta updates or even after the uh, Oreo update rollout. So uh, I have tinkered with few settings on the camera app itself that's the default OnePlus camera app and the, the changes or the differences were noticeable so I thought of making a video and tell you guys that you can also you know, make those settings and improve your uh, camera quality. So without any further delay let's get started with the video. <laughs> So guys, as you can see, this is my OnePlus 5T and all the videos for this particular device will be in the i button at the top right corner so you can go and watch it from there. So first of all, as you can see, uh, I am running the official Oxygen OS 5.1.1 which is based on Android 8.1.0 and this is the official uh, Oxygen OS so no beta releases at all. For improving the camera quality, first of all, go to the camera app. So this is the default OnePlus camera app as you can see and the current version of the camera app is 2.5.2 as you can see and uh, first of all uh, let's take a look at the current settings so this is the uh, first uh, screen that you will see whenever you open a camera app so it's currently in the photo mode and uh, as you can see the time uh, timer is turned off and auto HDR is turned on so make sure that the auto HDR is turned on and make sure that the aspect ratio is selected to 4, 4 is to 3 and not 18 is to 9 because 4 is to 3 will gather more resolution as compared to the 18 is to 9 so uh, make sure that it's 4 is to 3 then uh, a flash I have kept it to auto so that it will automatically toggle the flash uh, whenever there is need of light and be, uh, below as you can see currently it's at 1x zoom so that's default so you do not need to worry about that at the bottom you, are, you will see here a symbol which is of beautify symbol and make sure that you completely turn it off so that uh, you will have more crispier pictures now if we go to further settings so as you can see uh, I have just kept all the settings to default only have enabled the flip vertical photo vertically and all the settings uh, are as default so you, know, you do not need to change the settings here then if you go to video uh, and in video mode you just need to uh, make sure that the flash is turned off whenever there is enough light and always just avoid to use flash whenever you are recording a video because it will uh, make the video look more flashy uh, and we do not uh, want our video to be that much flashy and make sure that the resolution is set to 1080p at 60fps because it will give you the best video quality or the video result as you can see it's at 60fps and the video quality is really very good so you do not need to worry about that also and uh, this is uh, all about the rear facing camera and it will automatically uh, adjust all the other settings make sure that it's set to 4 is to 3 and beautify is turned off these are the major setting changes that you need to make into camera app now let's talk about the front camera now make sure that uh, you have turned uh, the auto hdr is turned on and the aspect ratio is again set to 4 is to 3 because if we set the uh, aspect ratio to, uh, uh, to 18 is to 9 or even sometimes 16 is to 9 then it will uh, click that uh, landscape type of pictures which will be of lower resolution so you will definitely see some uh, quality degradation in that so make sure that it's set to 4 is to 3 which will provide you the pictures of maximum resolution now then we have flash I have turned it off so you but you can keep it on as well uh, depending upon your situation where you are in then below we have a beautify mode uh, I will recommend you to turn it completely turn it off but if you want uh, a bit of beautification then you can just enable it uh, uh, a little bit so that you you would not uh, see that much degradation in the quality and again for the video it's the same uh, keep it on a 1080p and no changes here as well so yeah, these were the settings that I feel are the best for capturing the photos from OnePlus 5 or even 5T 
and uh, even if you are not satisfied with the uh, stock oneplus camera app so you can go and download the google camera app as you can see and everything works pretty fine on this even the portrait mode also works uh, great on the google camera but only thing is that the po that the front facing camera is broken on this uh, particular uh, apk and if i found it a working apk then i will link that in the description as well so guys if you follow all the settings that i showed in the video earlier properly then you will definitely see some differences in the pictures taken from the phone and uh, if this video really helped you then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos because many more videos are going to come up real soon so thank you guys thanks for watching